Good afternoon, YouTube. Today I want to talk about the quick disconnects for the front sway bars on the Jeep JKs. So stay tuned for that. And I just want to take a minute to thank YouTuber and Jeeper, that guy Mike, who supplied the cigar today that I'm going to enjoy while I make this video. What's up, YouTube? So today I want to touch up on a uh, well, conversation about quick disconnects for the front sway bars um, I'm revisiting this topic again I looked at it a couple months ago I kind of got agitated and just left it alone now I'm revisiting it again so I, I've looked at a bunch of them and like everything else there's pros and cons to them the two I'm pretty narrowed down to are the Terraflex quick release system and the Steinjägers. Um the Terraflex has a good system it also, they also have a um, part of their system mounts up to the main to the body frame, so you can store them out of the way. They have little pins that that take the place of your OEM nut and bolt. Um, the negative part to that is two small issues. Inside your OEM lower link, you have a little metal barrel that you got to kind of compress out. It's machined in there from a factory, without a doubt. But you have to get yours out to fit the Terraflex. Some people use the two socket method. Some people use a C clamp. A lot of reviews are saying on the 2016 JK, which I have, that they will not come out. They're beating the crap out of them with hammers, with C clamps. They're having a hard time getting them out. Others are saying they've got them out in five minutes. My luck, I'll be the one beating it up with a hammer to not get it out. I like the system. I'm still leaning towards it. One other minor complaint on the Terraflex quick release is that it's not strong and that it bends. And people are changing it like once a year. They're changing the pin that mounts to the uh, body. Not a big deal. It's $15. Do I want to be under the truck once a year changing the pin? I'm under there doing other shit anyway. So what's another couple minutes? Um, I'm leaning towards that. The other ones are the Steinjägers. If you guys follow CPO, he has an amazing build, the overclock build. He just got the uh, Steinjägers the other day. And um, I've actually spoke to him today through Facebook Messenger. We had a conversation about sway bar links. He really can't give me a good update on him. He, he doesn't have them that long. His biggest complaint and other complaints that I've Googled are rattles. And guys, rattles annoy the shit out of me. I know people all oh, make the radio louder. They annoy me. I do like the Steinjägers. Um, they look tough. They look cool. Very easy install. The price would probably be the same. The Steinjägers are like $80 all said and done. Same thing with the Terraflex. By the time you get the body mount kit is like $33. And then it's like $15 or $16 for each side. I do have a Rouch Creek trip coming up in two weeks. I don't think I'm gonna get this settled in two weeks. So I'm probably gonna be pulling out the old 18 inch millimeter ratchet and just um, disconnecting them the old way and tying them up out of the way. I don't wanna keep doing that. Um, I do wanna come up with a solution, a quick release. Obviously I wanna come up with one I'm gonna be happy with. I don't wanna install one and then not like it and then store another one. If you guys have sway bar quick releases, Throw it in the comments, pros, cons, if you recommend them. Right now, I'm probably leaning towards the Terraflex. We'll see what happens. Um, again, if you guys have them, let me know. Let me know the pros, let me know the cons. The driver's side, there's plenty of room to work, that, work in, if you guys ever did it before. The passenger side is a little bit tougher. Not the end of the world. You could barely get an open, you could get an open end ratchet in there a closed end is a bitch i've gotten it in there but it's a pain in the ass so i don't want to keep playing with these and disconnecting them there's not much room on the passenger side so all right guys that's uh that's my dilemma i'm gonna get back to google i'm gonna search some more pros and cons something so stupid that uh i'm rattling my brain around so give me your feedback give me your advice what you guys have thanks